Well, hello there, YouTube. I've been asked by uh, quite a few people to do this, so I packed some stuff out here to the shop and thought I would do a gear review. I'll uh, start with warmer gear and and work my way back when it's uh when it's really hot and I'm just goofing around here in town. I just wear this um, OGO vest has a bajillion pockets in it. I can carry camera stuff and everything else when I just want to go real light and uh, need to go to the store or something like that. Um, this thing's it's quite old, but you can see <laughs> it's got dust on it. You can see it's just got pockets everywhere. And a huge pocket in the back. You can actually put a hydration pack inside that if you wanted to. But uh, I usually get stuff in it. But uh, I mean, just pockets galore. I mean, look at these things. All the little nooks and crannies to put things in. This is on the back side. Just a big pocket. And on the front, as you can see, just big pockets everywhere. These little things, you know, you can stick batteries, whatever the hell you want in there. But uh, anyway, that's... Uh, OGO, it says KTM on it. Um, I think I, I don't remember when I bought it, but I tried it on, liked it, and uh, been using it ever since. And I bought this for the uh, Utah trip, which is just a hydration pack that I picked up from uh, um, Walmart's, and uh, never once did it have water in it. But, you know, any of you guys that are familiar with these things, you can use them as backpacks too. You know, you can't get a whole lot in them. But uh, you, know, you got you got room to put stuff in them. They're pretty cool. But uh, those are kind of neat. Get some stuff out of the way. If you're wondering what's behind the blanket, that's the iron. And this is that BRP thing you probably heard me talk about a bunch. Our BRP service or uh, representative for BRP. You can still see it's got bugs on it. Gave me this thing. And I don't know what kind of material this is that it's made out of but it's uh it's crazy you can wear this thing in a hundred degree in fact when it's really hot I'd wear it because it'd protect me from the wind um from the heat that was generated by the wind when you're in those extreme temperatures and I've wore it in at night when Kelly and I were uh, coming into um Colorado we stayed in Cortez and uh, it was like 60 degrees and foggy, and I was wearing that the whole way through. And this is one of my favorite things to wear in the summertime, until it gets too hot, is this old-ass Yamaha jacket. Again, it's covered in bugs. These things need to be washed. Actually, this one doesn't have a very pleasant smell either. But it's an old denim jacket that uh, my wife actually bought. Jeez, look at the dirt and the collars that just wear. Probably dirt. But um, my wife got a couple of these things on closeout, and uh, I love this thing. It breathes just right. You can wear it on a fairly hot day, and if it gets cold, again, it's one of those things that uh, um, will, will keep you a little bit warm once it cools off. See, it's got wear marks all over it. I've had this thing for a long time. I've actually got two of them. The other one, the uh, inside all came apart. And uh, so we'll go a little warmer here. This is the inner liner to the TBG Rainier that I'll get to here in a second. And what First Gear refers to this as, is as a uh, destination liner. The TPG stands for Technical Performance Gear. But anyway, it's, it's a liner for this jacket. And uh, as you can see, it's very dirty, very dirty, bugs and whatnot on it. But uh, yeah, I wear this a lot. It's uh, water resistant. I won't say waterproof because I actually got into um, rains test riding a, a spider from the Longview store that was so heavy it, it actually went through it. But light rain, you can go quite a ways. Big, deep, deep pockets. Put wallet and stuff like that in there, which will come in handy for my iPhone 6 because it's going to take up a whole lot more room than my 5S did. <laughs> and uh, pockets on the side. Nothing on the inside. Um, has vents. 
and these vents line up with the uh, with the vents on the TPG. So should you be wearing this, uh, you can uh, the the TPG will will breathe, and it's got the the screen in there to keep the bees and whatnot out, debris or whatever. And these are all, as you can see, uh, waterproof zippers throughout. All of them are, even the little side pockets. But uh, yeah, I wear this a lot. And this vent lines up with the vent in the back of that. All right, we'll throw the old DPG. So this is not my my warmest cold weather jacket, although this mixed with the inner liner does a really good job. But it does tend to vent a little bit around the. I don't know if it's its flexy stuff, or whatever. But I I tend to get cold in the armpits. In the armpit area and it creeps down I'm not sure where all that's coming in uh, but the funny thing about it is it's absolutely waterproof I've never out of all the different gear I've had over the years I've never had anything that was so waterproof I mean nothing gets through nothing gets through the pockets or anything and the pockets all have uh, waterproof zippers um, all the way through you got side pockets here and then you got top pockets and um, I did a throw, look at the bugs all over it. I did a throwback video on the iron from, that was back in uh, September of 2013. And I, and I said that this thing was discontinued. At that point, it was. But uh, First Gear has come back out with this. And you, you have options for different colors. Now, this, this was the only color that was available when I bought it. And it has those, uh, what do they refer to, a D3O or whatever. But anyway, it's just soft, pliable um, guards throughout it. But when you when it makes an impact, it, it instantly gets hard. I'm sure you guys have seen this in all kinds of stuff. But uh, great vents. The vents and the sleeves alone is amazing. You open these things up, and while you're riding along, it doesn't look like a big vent. But man, the air that rushes up through that jacket is incredible. And you got the little small, you know, coin pocket. I keep earplugs and stuff in there. And, uh, you know, the sleeves are big so you can put larger, you know, coats and stuff underneath it. And then you can, uh, you know, Velcro them down so they're not flopping in the wind. Then you got the, uh, the side vents. Like I say, they match up to the ones on the, on the inner liner. Tons of pocket room. I mean, it's crazy how much room these things have. But uh, highly uh, um, water and wind resistant. Obviously, if it's water resistant, it's wind resistant. And uh, big pockets on the inside. And there's some more stuff talking about the, the fancy gear that it has. But anyway, these are available once again. Um, on the inside, you have like a hidden wallet pocket. And from the outside, where all you got to do is just undo the snaps without unzipping the coat. You have another great big one. And this is uh, here lately. I mean, you can see, <laughs> you can see my, uh, my 6 Plus literally gets swallowed in there. Just disappears. So I have no problem carrying the, a phablet with this coat. But uh, fantastic jackets. Um, it, was, it was pretty spendy. But uh, well worth every penny. And uh, of course the vent in the back. And the inner liner, if you didn't notice that, you can uh, zip those two layers together. And uh, so they, it just holds a little better. Um, actually, nope, I'm wrong here. The matching pants, this zips to the pants so it becomes more of a one piece. The vent, vent is separated from that. Sorry about that. Anyway, this is my favorite. If at all, oh, there's more vents in the back, so you get a flow through. You open these back vents, these chest vents, and those sleeve vents, and uh, I've ridden well over 80 degrees in uh, total comfort. So uh, that works really well. And then for when it's really cold, really cold, and horrendously nasty and rainy, I bought this thing. This is a 2X large. I bought it big so I can wear big stuff inside it. 
This is the first gear of uh, Kathmandu. I'm not really crazy about the pockets on it, but when it's that kind of rain, I, I've got stuff stashed in other places. Um, no waterproof zippers on the pockets, although I've carried my phone and wallet in these things in pouring rain, and uh, they haven't got wet. Again, this one, this one also, uh, this one I have been in some crazy, crazy downpours. On my birthday in 2012, I actually turned back and uh, came back home from work. It was raining so hard, I had the old Venture sideways, and it pushed me right into the guardrail. I didn't go into the guardrail, but I was about to. But uh, vents are in the center on this one. This was more of a, like a, you know, sport touring thing where, uh, you know, you're not likely to have a larger shield or no shield at all. So you get a better flow of air. But oddly enough, when I wear this, I am wearing, <laughs> riding a bike with a big shield. So the vents, I wouldn't wear this in the warmer weather anyway. And uh, all the zippers, as you can see, have a little garage that they, uh, or carport, whatever they refer that to, that sneaks up inside there so that no water can get past the zipper. Now up top, and this is one of the things I, I don't like, is it's really odd to get into these things. Because usually it's cold, your hands are kind of numb. But the pockets have waterproof zippers up top, but you got this weird rollover. And the opening, because of that, it's a fairly good sized pocket. But the opening is very odd. I, I never stick anything inside there. This one also has the, uh, um, the wallet, quick access wallet. Um, one of the things I wish it had that the, that the Rainier has is uh, buttons along the front instead of the Velcro. I'm not overly, you know, especially when you spend that much money for a jacket to have a uh, Velcro closure. But the type of weather I, I use this in, I, I'm fine with that. And then uh, I have, the, I keep the inner liner inside this all the time. And they have uh, uh, loops that, or clips that clip everything in. I think it's a loop style in the in the sleeve. But uh, the inner liner of this thing works really well. Um, it's not quite as warm as that. In fact, when it's really super, super cold, I'll wear the TPG inner liner with this. And uh, then the coat almost fits me at that point. <laughs> it is really huge. Yeah, 2XL, this thing just swims on me. And when I wear it, and if I ride the iron wearing this thing, people go, um, you look really big on that iron. Has anybody told you that? Nobody has to tell me that. I know I look like a circus clown, I'm sure. And there again, this is a deal where you can uh, zip a pair of uh, matching pants to it. And this just comes off and you zip it to your to your pants. But uh, this one has uh, on the yeah on the sides here, great big, they refer to them as map pockets. But uh, this thing is so warm no air sneaks through it has some high-tech uh, uh, shields and guards in the shoulders and and everything but uh, it's not that real fast uh, reacting stuff big huge uh, armpit vent that works very well oh and they all both of them have back protectors in them too great big huge vents in the back if it's cold and it's going to be wet, um, you're not going to beat this thing. Well, I'm sure, you know, there's stuff fancier, but, you know, for the price point that I paid for these things, I have no problem with first gear. And the fact that they're 100% waterproof and neither one of those things have ever, ever leaked, I'm happy with that. So let's do a quick little what's, what's in my bag. Our rep, every time they see this thing, they give me shit. They go, oh my god, you got an old 2150. This thing is probably about 15 years old. Nothing's ever happened to it. It hasn't come apart in any way, shape, or form. The little tiny cell phone clip that was on here is long gone. The only thing that fit, fit in those was the old uh, flip phones. And uh, a little escape hole for uh, um, whether it be, you know, like a iPod or something like that, or even a dehydration pack. But uh, <clears throat> it's got a nice thick back protector type thing built in, which is which is common amongst motorcycle backpacks. Um, 
nice quick access pocket in the front. Get your chapstick. I just got junk in here. Memory card pieces. What the hell is that? Some Advil. <laughs> Spare keys. Just junk. Earplugs. And this is a deep little soft pocket. And this is where I keep uh, sunglasses in. And uh, Triple X. These are your glasses, by the way. And if you guys have heard me refer to uh, the yellow glasses, these are those. And they got really thick foam on the back. And you feel like you're looking through uh, donuts with these things. But they work great in, ba in bad weather. Because they uh, kind of brighten things up. But they actually have UV protection. I've forgot my glasses and used them in bright sunlight. And uh, they work fine. And uh, I actually replaced the sunglasses that I lost. I found the same, same exact pair at work. Uh, they're sitting in my toolbox over there. I need to send these back to Triple uh, X. Along with the uh, Oakleys that oh crap that uh, Brett had dropped down in down in Utah. All right, and the main backpack thing here: typical bungee cord, USB crap, um, a little cord for everything, a little uh, USB adapter for uh, plugging into a battery tender. A 12 volt socket that plugs into a battery tender with another USB thing plugged in it. And of course, a GoPro um, micro USB for the GoPro. Or not micro, but mini USB. Um, that always comes in handy. One of these goofy multi uh, USB things so you can charge multiple things. A um, little survival first aid kit. Um, about a bajillion feet of paracord that was a like a bracelet type thing I got into making these things this was I had some well I still have a big roll of that I don't really like the color but anyway, I keep that in there I thought there's a knife or something in here too yeah there's another little survival knife with a little thing of uh, paracord and a whistle on the end of it from a uh, Gerber I think somebody got me that for for Christmas or birthday or something. Always nice to have that. Another thing I carry is a little black little black bag that has my uh, extra memory cards and batteries for the GoPros. And I throw I've got a little belt clip that has a high powered flashlight and a Leatherman and little bits for the Leatherman. I throw both of those in. They sit right there when I go on rides. All right. It's on the inside here. Oh. These are my electric gloves. They're uh, battery operated. They look like they have a um, lithium ion. Looks like a battery out of a of an old SLR camera or something. But uh, you just plug them in. You power them up, and you can adjust the different levels of heat. Um, I think only once I've put them on on the highest setting. These things get really really hot. But I was afraid that the gloves being too snug on me would, uh, you know how you don't want to wear like tight shoes or anything like that when it's cold. So I got the gloves so they fit kind of loose. Never put the right glove on first. But these, they're very um, roomy and comfortable. But because they're so roomy, the heater elements don't hit me as good as they should. But they, they're completely waterproof keep me nice and warm so when it's super super cold these are the ones that I use something that we had at the shop I snagged them work great been using them for a while and these are my you know summer you can see how faded they are the black is gone out of them my uh, climbs that in fact I was just wearing these the other day with the um, with the DR fantastic gloves and uh just so you know buy these things you know find the ones that are just a little snug on you they have enough leather that the leather breaks in if you get the ones that fit perfect right off the shelf the fingers are too long i've actually got two pair of these ones in the trunk of the of the venture and uh 
I've had these things for years and they're just bulletproof. Um, the only thing that ever happened is because when they were really tight, I'd really yank on them. I wasn't grabbing the leather like I was supposed to. I was pulling out here and I one day I, I pulled the threads out. But uh, these are surprisingly warm. And uh, when it gets uh, hotter out, let me put my hand back here and I'll show you something. When it gets hotter out, they become too hot. And you ride down the road, if you separate your fingers, there's vents in here. And you'd be surprised how much air flows through those vents. Then when it's colder, just keep your fingers snug and uh, nothing goes through. And they got, you know, good good protection. You know, they're not armor, but, you know, it's better than than nothing. Of course, the next thing I'll pull out, you'll wonder why I even care about that. Oh, wait a minute. We'll do one more. These are my, uh, these things are usually so hot that I very seldom ever, ever wear them. They're really, really hot. But I went out for that first ride in the cold, and, uh, it's almost like they didn't work at all. <laughs> but yeah, normally these are, are very, very warm. They're wind and uh, they're waterproof as well. Even though it's leather, I've, I've never, I've been in some downpours in them and they've never got wet. And it's got the little eh, squeegee on the fingers. What I hate is when you point something out, you look like you got a crooked finger. Because even though your finger's straight, the, the glove is like formed to fit the, fit the bike around the bike. But uh these were crazy expensive. I don't remember what I paid for them, but all that climb gear is really high priced, but just absolute top quality. Alrighty, let's go somewhere on the glove thing. These are my my old gloves that, as you can see, these have faded too. They're no longer black, black on the bottom. But uh, these are just some old fingerless things by who is it? Poker Run is the name on them. You can find these things on eBay. They're next to nothing. Got the little skull on the back. But as you can see, they're uh, they're getting a little long in the tooth. But these are the ones I like wearing a lot. One day I was putting my backpack on and and the thing got snagged as I was going around and it ripped the little skull off of my right hand glove. And uh, I actually heard something hit the ground. I looked around. I thought, well, nothing would have fell fell off of me. But it did, and this is kind of a, a neck thing. BRP sells it, and uh, your, it comes up. It doesn't go over. You can pull it up over your face, but it's a little suffocating. It doesn't breathe very well. But uh, it's made out of some kind of fleece or whatever. Whew. I don't wear that very often. That thing is crazy hot. Holy mackerel. Man, you go into a panic attack. That thing will get you so hot. Um in here somewhere and then the old tried and true balaclava or however the hell you pronounce that that stupid thin pantyhose little thing that thing works so good and a little fleece scarf this is usually my favorite thing to wear got it for a buck should have bought a couple of them one dollar it was on a little closeout shell and a shelf at a grocery store of all places and for the warmer time, these are just soft, I think they're sterns or something like that. Yeah, sterns. Um, they were in the fishing department at Walmarts, but they're like windbreaker stuff, 100% waterproof. And they uh, breathe well, so you can wear these in the, in the summertime. I've got some, you know, regular plastic riding gear, both coat and pants, but those are so common, everybody knows those look like. And good old Triton to true microfiber. What do I got down here? What the hell all that is? Might be a surprise. Um, glasses for an old aging dude. In case I forget my glasses and I need to read something. What the hell is that? Oh, crap. Oh, plastic bags for if you need to, you know, make something waterproof. Because as you can see, this bag's not waterproof. Although I've been in some crazy pouring rain with it and haven't gotten anything wet yet. But, you know, it is attached to the back of me. Usually when I get caught out in rain like that, I'm not goofing off going slow. I'm getting the hell home. And then there's a big thing in the back for whatever you want to stick back there. And that little hidden pocket, that's where I pulled that stuff out from. 
there's the little pocket that's holding the sunglasses. Alright, let's just toss this in here right quick. Get this out of the way. Let's shove that glove down here where I know where it's at. Summer gloves in the bottom won't be using them for a while. These next, because probably won't be using them very much. Just gonna cram it in there. All right, for the summertime, when I go on what I call, you know, uh, selfish rides, I go without moto vlogging. I still have. GoPro clips on both sides. It's an old um, HJC open face. This and a nice pair of sunglasses with a shield like on the old um, Road King and the Yamaha Venture comes in really, really handy. And this is my helmet I picked up last year. It's a, uh, a showy Quest helmet. It's not the lightest helmet by no means. But incredibly comfortable. Vents work really well. Um, works really good. I wear this pretty much all the time. Got vents everywhere. The old uh, Cena setup. Microphones I've got. You can see the dual uh, microphones. I got dual uh, drift um, HD Ghost mics in here. They're mono mics. So it's mono left and right with a stereo input. And after going through about three of the GoPro mounts, this was like a dollar something from eBay. It's a side mount um, microphone adapter. And I have that zip tied so I can pull all this off if whatever reason I wanted to. And I put bolts in here. These are all because I didn't want the nudges sticking out. So uh, those are all bolted down. That's solid. I got it set so that the GoPro touches back here sets in the same place every time and she's good to go you know all I have is uh, I use some of that 3m um, activator uh, before I stuck these things on and I very carefully stacked pieces of uh, double-sided tape so it would fill the the sides because it kind of comes to a point and I got the little vent on the bottom wires are all oh, there's one sneaking out you get your ass back in there I'd show you where the mics are, but I have to take the helmet apart. They're just sitting in the... They're just under right here. In fact, you can feel the bulge. One on the right, one on the left. And that's how I get the stereo effect. And this is a camera I, I put stuff on there, but I hardly ever use that footage for that thing. I'll have one facing backwards, or even the one day I did the dual camera thing. Did I ever use that? Yeah, I did. But uh, anyway vents in the back. This thing breathes pretty well. You wouldn't think that uh, these little holes would would work, but man, if you're out there in the boiling heat and you open them things up, he's like, oh yeah. So, oh shit, the one, I forgot the shoes. Um, I've got some waterproof boots. They're just some cheap uh, things I got at a, it's called a Sunbirds in Chehalis. It's, uh, they sell a lot of uh, like uh, Carhartt and work clothes and stuff and um, I use uh, there's these waterproof boots that I bought that are insulated I wear them in the extreme cold cold and rain um, other than that I got some really old uh, road race boots that I'll wear um, don't wear them very often though and the other two I wear is uh, Georgia boot um, Romeo's and uh uh, Red Wing Romeos. The Red Wing Romeos are my favorite. Don't offer a lot of protection. And I, oh, I missed the one other boot. One of my main riding shoes is like a mini shoe. It kind of comes up over the ankle. And uh, they're Icon uh, street boots. And uh, they got all the protection stuff in them. But they don't come up very high. So, you know, limited protection. It would, you know, probably help your feet. Wouldn't save your ankles or anything. But that's where we are for shoes. So, there in this menagerie stuff is my uh, is my gear. A lot of people have asked, and, oh, geez, I forgot to show my my winter pants. These are also first gear, and uh, not insulated, but all the padding that's in them, um, you know, they got the the knee cups and everything in there. 
um, the pockets doesn't have pockets it's access to the pocket that's uh, to your pants pockets the zippers just come straight through pretty sure yeah they're waterproof and they just go right inside your inside so uh, you can get into your pants pocket but these also I have with that venture the water pools in that thing on the seat and literally sitting in a pool of water nothing has leaked through these things I have never had a pants that didn't leak through uh, the rear pockets are the same way um, they, they just access your pants pockets and here's where you would zip your coat to the pants and they kind of become like a one piece I haven't done that yet my uh, road race leathers had the the bottom zip there's my old 70 1970 CT90 um, CRF 450, CR 250, two stroke. There's the old Road King hovered, covered up, and I haven't covered the uh, the um, Venture up yet. You can see I swap battery tenders back and forth between them. There's the shield off of my uh, off my 72 because they would have taken it off and thrown it away if I'd have left it on. So they actually threw that away and I dug it out when I bought the 72 so I took it off and rode it bare all the way to Longview anyway pardon the disaster you, as you can tell my kid has been back here on the weekends working here's my this is my area where I do reviews because it's quiet and um, other than my iPhone um, nothing goes off and the iPhone's not going off because it's connected to the the Wi-Fi is connected to the camera um, and I but anyway, the old DR. So, there we are. A review of my gear. Nothing nothing fancy, nothing too expensive. All of it's uh, very well worn, worn in. Some of it is probably older than a lot of you guys watching. <laughs> but uh, that's it. Can't think of anything else. Almost forgot the damn first gear pants. And uh, when it's cold, oh. They're not insulated, but the difference of wearing those things and and uh, you know just blue jeans or something huge. Pardon my uh, my hang around the house, my famous uh, hot pepper pants. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching and uh, have a wonderful wonderful day. Take care now. Bye bye.